Hey guys, welcome to Grid Iron Grilling, where we're talking about our favorite sport, football, and the best in backyard tailgating. This week we have Hall of Famer Robert Brazil, but first, let's check in with Davis for the highlights of the week. Hey, thanks, Keita. So coming up later in the show, Alabama moving on without star receiver Jalen Waddell. Also, Florida back with the uniforms and in pro football. Steelers undefeated, taking on Baltimore. It's going to be good coming up later on in the show. Guys, I'm so excited to check in with Dr. Doom and what Tina has on the grill. But first, we're going to start with a bourbon sidecar because every good tailgate needs a cocktail. Today, we're going to make a really simple bourbon sidecar. What I love about this is we're going to smoke Jack Daniels chips and infuse it into the glass so that that grilled and smoked flavor goes through and through. All you need to do for this is actually put some wood chips on a clean and safe surface and light them on fire, but just a little bit. You're just going for a little bit of smoke here. And you wanna use a damp glass. The liquid in the glass actually helps the smoke stay in it. Put the glass right over the wood chips once they're smoking and let that fill up with smoke. That's gonna make a nice subtle smoky flavor that stays in but doesn't overwhelm. That's what I love about it. And everybody loves this trick. They think it's the fanciest cocktail you've ever tried. Once it fills with smoke, let it out, put some ice right in that glass again, then this is one of those simple cocktails that doesn't require many steps. A little bit of bourbon, a little bit of orange liqueur, a little bit of lemon juice, and a splash of simple syrup. Mix that all up garnish if you want to. And you've got a classic bourbon sidecar ready for a tailgate. All right, let's check in with Tina and see what we've got going on. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, the drink looks so good. Exactly. Oh, good morning. All right, yeah. Tina. Is that with me? Of course it Thank is, you. dear. It's a tailgate. What do we have going on these grills today? I heard we're making cowboy Wellington bites. I'll give you a quick look. All ready? <gasps> oh my gosh. So what's inside of that? Filet mignon. Filet mignon yeah, for a tailgating party. Yeah, exactly, and it's going to have a, a sour cream mixture of horseradish sauce, sour cream, and uh, Worcestershire, you know. Worcestershire sauce. Yes, Worcestershire, you know, that's Worcestershire, it. Worcestershire. We can't say that's that. That's easy for you to say. Yeah, we can't say this. And I'm fixing to actually put some smoking chips here, and these are the Jack Daniels chips, in here to finish the flavor Just to finish on that these. flavor off on that's that pastry. Right. Oh, that'll be locked. But I'm going to have a sip first. I don't blame you. All right. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a little bit of surf and turf since we've got Wellington Bites. We're going to do some Gulf Shrimp. We're down here in Alabama, so we we source some great Gulf Shrimp. Gulf, Gulf shrimp. You know where the Gulf Shrimp is, right? Right in my back door. <laughs> right in your back door. Yeah, we got water moccasins in the water behind us. Come on, man. But we're not going to cook those. I will. So yeah, so we've got. Put them on the grill, huh? <laughs> we're just grilling off some bell peppers just to get a little color on the bottom of the plate, That's and we're going to skewer up some of these beautiful Gulf Shrimp that are down here. Oh, those are we're just doing a Jack Daniels maple glaze right on the top of them. They're going to taste great. They're going to go great with these bites. Woo. So you everybody gets a 21 bite. to eat those, right? That's right. <laughs> I'm not going to know where to start. I might eat 21 of them. <laughs> so I'm getting really hungry, but first, I've got to start with this gentleman right here. Absolutely. I don't know about you, but I hear your Hall of Famer number at what? 312. 312. That mm -hmm. number cannot be changed. You can't change I, it. You can't, you can't trade me off this team. I can't die off this team. I will always be Hall of Famer 312, Robert Brazil. That is so I'm Known as who? Dr. Doom. Hello. And I'm going to get to that in a question. But my first question is, I know you spent a lot of time on the field. But have you ever enjoyed the tailgating scene off of it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Since I retired, we've been doing this thing at the Senior Bowl. Mm. Me and some friends, Bob Baumhauer, which owns the Wings and restaurant, we do tailgate challenges. We judge the tailgates. 
And at the end of the day, when I'm too full, too sluggish, we give away free tickets to the Super Bowl and a new grill. And how do, wait, so how do I win this tailgating challenge? You got to, we got different categories. Mm -hmm. If you come in like her beef wellington, she could win. The way it smelled this morning, I make sure I give her five. We're going to the Super Bowl. We're going to the Super Bowl. Oh, I love this already. Okay. Now, my next question for you, because I'm a, like, super comic book junkie. Uh oh And you are Dr. Doom. Where'd that come from? Well, for some of these kids that don't know, back in the day, we used to have a college all-star game. And in the college all-star game, the seniors of that year would play the Super Bowl champion, which was in Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. Right. So, we here with all the seniors. It's a guy that played linebacker named Richard Wood played middle linebacker, he had a nickname. His name was Batman. The other three linebackers had a nickname. So we eating breakfast one morning. Richard said, Brazil, come here, I got a nickname for you. I said, nickname? I'm, I'm Robert Brazil. He said, no, we're going to call you Dr. Doom. I said, Dr. Doom? Sitting at the end of the table, remember Howard Cosell? Howard Cosell mm -hmm. says to Richard, hey, you know what, Richard? That name fits that young man from Jackson State. Richard said, why? He said, take that doom part. D-O-O-M, mean death on office of men. Who does it better than Robert <laughs> Brazil? So that's how I got the name. Oh my <laughs> gosh, and how quick of him on his toes. On top of it, you, that's just a wonderful tie-in. It is, I it didn't is. know that everybody had little comics. That's great that there was multiple comic book characters. I love comics. <laughs> I grew up on comics. I mean, comics, barbecue, and now we got sports too. That's it, baby. We're going to have a good time. <laughs> Who's your favorite player to take down? My favorite player to take down? Mm -hmm. Anybody was on the other side, this one was the running back. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the toughest guy to take down? Well, it was a bunch of them, but I never met them. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy? No, no, I always tell people, this is the honest God truth. I went to college with probably one of the best running backs in the world, Walter Payton. Mm -hmm. Walter Payton was my college roommate. Then I go to the Houston Oilers, and guess who is my roommate on the road? Earl Campbell. Oh my. So I had wow. the best two running backs to sleep with every night, so I feared nobody else. <laughs> you feared nobody else. Wait, 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 but she laughed. That means the other beds now. Uh -huh. get this right. <laughs> Not in the same bed. So if they're on your team, you don't have to worry about them. Don't have to worry about them. Oh my gosh. That must have been absolutely exciting for you. It, it was rewarding because I think the hard work that we did and practiced to each other prepared us for anybody or any, uh, anything that could happen during the game. During the you game. Know, I, when you got a Walter Payton you practice against every day and an Earl Campbell that, oh my God, as a linebacker, that's a dream. I always tell them both, I'll take you out there. I don't know who's going to be the first one to get up, but I'm going to hit you hard. Is there a shining <laughs> moment in your career that stands out? You're looking at it. Exactly. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Well, I waited for so long to get this. And the biggest and the biggest word I had was my mom and dad witnessing this. My mom and dad is 85 years old when I got this jacket. And my dad, to be able to present his son, Robert Brazil Jr., it did so much for this man. The man had just fought around, around a cancer. And uh, I told him, Dad, you can't, you can't, you can't leave me. You got to present me. And when I got that hug and kiss from him, when I got that gold jacket, it sealed my life. Mm. It's, it, it, I mean, my life changed. And for the Brazil family, we would never forget that. So this gold jacket means that much to, to my family. That's a wonderful story. What it's a, a great story. It's a true story, though. And it's a true you. story. Oh, thank you. It sends shivers down my it's spine. Give me chills, too, though. Right? Down. That's a good story. I love them when they're like that. <laughs>
And then you put your, and we're using Hassel cattle beef today, the yes. filet mignon, and we're putting that in your, tyson it up. How big yeah. is it, like about an inch? About an inch, a little okay. inch square, and then I toss it in some either beef or mushroom base mm -hmm. that you can get at any grocery store. Put it in the middle, fold it up, brush it with olive oil, stick it on. That's it, and about, at 350, about 15 minutes. About 15 minutes? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is the best beef wellington I've ever heard of. Easy. All right, so you can take a look at it. If we you can want. peek. Yeah, you know you're never supposed to. We're just getting a little smoke on it right now. You can see from the chips, like that. And then I've got a sauce that's really good. It's a horseradish, sour cream, and Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yeah, that's it. It's only because I lived in New England for a while. Yeah, Worcestershire. We, we can't stay it in the south. <laughs> we just eat it. <laughs> it's just, that the same. just that delicious sauce. You yeah, can put same on every... sauce, different wording. All right, let's check in with Daniel over here. Let's tell us what we have going on with these shrimp. Well, we've got a little Gulf shrimp. We've been hitting it with the Jack Daniels maple glaze. That's just bringing the flavor all the way through. We're hitting our bell peppers. We're going to cut these down, julienne these a little bit, and use that as the base. So these are just getting a little bit of flavor. It's going to look great on the plate. We want to make sure they stay nice and moist. Did we have to prep these at all, or did we just put them right on the skewer? Right on the skewer. Wow, this is about the easiest. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and then all your flavors in here. I've got a little seasoning, a little Jack Daniel seasoning. A little bit of Jack Daniels, a little bit of maple, and that's it. Maple syrup. Oh man, this is about the easiest surf and turf we yeah. could possibly get. Yeah. How many more minutes do we have on these? A few more minutes, they'll be about ready when those Wellingtons are done. And what's a tip here when you're grilling shrimp on a skewer? Because you've got these guys back and forth, which I actually kind of like that. It's yeah, like more back bang and for forth. Yeah, a little bit more bang for your buck. I think they look a little bit better on the skewer. Nice Soak and cool. your skewers a little bit if you're using wood so they don't burn. Um, and just keep your eye on them because they'll cook fast. Gulf shrimp from Mobile. Mm. <laughs> there ain't nothing like gotta Gulf shrimp. Got to get the best shrimp. Gulf shrimp. That's right. You got to get you got to get shrimp that are good Big. size. Good size. I don't want the little bitty. No. You got to get something. You got to no. take a bite. You know. I mean, this is two bites for me, one bite for you. No, These are little running backs, right? Running backs. <laughs> These are little scat backs. Yeah, exactly. So by putting them that way too, they don't spin around. Exactly. Yeah. yeah it kind of locks idea. them. Yeah. It kind of locks them on the skewer. So they'll be ready in a few minutes. Little tips. Yep. I want a whole skewer. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. And then this actually will make squares if you cut it again. And that's it. And then we're going to put the meat in it. So right yeah. about there? Yeah. Right. Remember, if it's not totally exact, we'll just put a smaller piece in one, the bigger in the other. Okay. I don't, don't short me on the meat. Oh, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna short if you not, on anything. If not, we'll give you extra. Yeah, we don't want to short you. We can't afford to short All him right. on anything. So All we'll right. do That's these two. So we're just gonna <laughs> fold it, stick we're it. We're gonna pinch it right in the middle here. Pinch it in the middle. Pinch it in the middle. Pinch we'll it bring in the it middle. up again. How easy can you get? Just seal up all those holes. Then we're gonna brush it with oil. Well, mine's not as pretty as you. You've got more pinching practice than I do. Yeah. That looks fancy. That's easy. I mean, if you, you can do it fancy. Or you can just fold it over. Just fix it. You're going to love it so much. I'm going to love it. And then we're just going to brush it with a little olive oil. Mm. You know, brush it. And then we're going to just stick it on the pizza stone on 350 for about 15 minutes. And how long does that pizza stone preheat in that I grill? usually leave it on the grill while I do all this. Mm -hmm. Depends on what kind of grill you're using. Today I'm using a Oklahoma Joe gas grill. But if you're going to use, say, a pellet or a barrel, as soon as it, you know, they all stabilize at a little bit different rate. Yes. So we're going for ease and speed because I'm ready to watch the game. I know, and really And somebody's excited. hungry. Yes. So we're just going to stick it on and I didn't it. notice. You didn't <laughs> notice? So let's brush this with a tiny bit of oil. I didn't get enough on there. I usually just put it on my plate. Mm-hmm. That and brush it. Oh, I can do that. Mm-hmm. Pretty easy. If you want to get fancy, you can put black pepper on or whatever. We're not doing it. Look at this. Thanks, Danny. Yeah. So we even got a smoker going with some of the uh, whiskey chip. barrel Jack Daniels chips in there. We'll just cook two for right now for a quick sample. Close right. it up, 15 minutes, it's done. So let's, you want to make the sauce while that cooks? Let's load up that grill and then we can make the sauce. We have a special guest gonna Robert gonna jump in here. Mr. Brazil, Dr. Mm -hmm. Doom himself is gonna make this sauce for us. Tina, can you tell us how it's made? And I'm gonna coach you. I'm very oh, coach you. Okay. First of all, can I take my rings off? I think you're gonna get dirty. Okay, right. yeah, we, yes, my mom would love that. She don't like uh, dirty hands. I'll hold them back here for her if you need me to. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this is so simple. See this little amount here? You're mm -hmm. just gonna put some sour cream in it. Sour cream. About half of it. You just squeeze it in there. See, yeah, yeah. That's enough. Oh no, put some more. We got a lot of bites we gonna eat. Okay, easy. And I get the squeezable because it's easy. Yes. Then Worcestershire. We just always say yeah, sauce. Just, yeah, just put a dash. You know, like a dash is like a couple dashes. A dash. There you go. Perfect. See, you're a natural. Then this is horseradish. That's the key. Horse. Now this, how spicy you like it? Like Dr. Doom hot. Okay, then you put is put about a spoonful of that and then you're just gonna stir it. Yeah, that's good. Watch you're, me, Mom. Watch stir me. it up now. Watch me work. Yeah, look at you. Watch me work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't that look good? And that's it yeah. isn't that easy? Now if you wanted extra spicy, you could put like sriracha sauce or something in there or Tabasco, but we're not gonna, not. Do you we're want gonna to put Well I didn't bring it. I'm sorry. Maybe I need to run to the store. Okay. No, we'll be fine. So it's ready for our uh, cowboy bites, right? Our grilled cowboy Wellington bites. With doom sauce. Yeah, doom. with doom yes. spicy. Let's do that. Sauce. Let's change the name to Doom's. No, keep it, it your way. Because it's got it's, <laughs> I got, it's got all enough, the copyrights to my name. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's got enough uh, horseradish in it to be a doom sauce. That's good. So we're That's, ready. As soon as they come off the grill, it's ready for dipping. Let's try it. This sauce is going to be great with our little grilled Wellington bites because. The beef is smooth and has that mushroom flavor that's got that horseradish bite. Because a lot of people eat a horseradish sauce I with a steak, it. right? Okay, yes. And then it's creamy to go with the puff pastry. So it's like the perfect compliment. You don't want any ketchup on it. I can't wait no. to try it. All right, I'm going to check the grill and hopefully they'll be ready. And then we're going to dip them in the sauce. Let's see. You'll probably eat this whole bowl yourself. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, those look so good. No, I'm Plus hungry. Pie. How's the shrimp going? They're going good. They're not oh. as good as those, though. Oh, I'm sure they are. Oh, I can hear your stomach growling. Yeah. Maybe that was mine. <laughs> somewhere in America. <laughs> <laughs> he comes with a jingle. I like it. <laughs> oh, out. Tina, these look beautiful. <laughs> that one's mine. That one's yours, okay. yes. Oh, you get, we get to pick? Mm -hmm. In my house, you have to pick or you won't get You're one. getting, okay. yeah. <laughs> put your name on it? Yeah. We'll put a few out here. Get started. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, I am so excited to try these, Tina. But first, let's check in with Davis for this week's highlights. 
Well, Alabama back at it again after rolling over Tennessee last week, but it did come out of the cost as they did lose Jalen Waddle last week, star receiver and returner, but I think they'll be okay tonight against Mississippi State. In the meantime, Florida, they're back after missing two weeks with positive COVID tests, taking on Missouri and looking cool in those 60s throwback jerseys. Also, Marshall looking to go undefeated the rest of the year. It would make sense considering the only team they have left that's actually worth anything is 2-2. Two and two. Looking at you, Charlotte. Also, Battle of the Tigers, LSU against Auburn, an awesome game last year. Going to be a fun game this week. Also, Ohio State, Penn State, Big Ten matchup. Justin Fields playing, Heisman favorite. Also, Penn State needs a big rebound after getting upset last week against Indiana. But now let's go on over to the pros, where the Buccaneers going into the bye week with Tom Brady, 42 years old. That's not going to stop him from scoring four touchdowns. He'll kick back in Tampa in his lounge chair while his replacement, Cam Newton, in New England. He's looking like he's in the hot seat as they're taking on Buffalo, hoping to get things right again. Also, Pittsburgh Steelers, the only undefeated team left in the nation. They're going up against Baltimore at Baltimore. It's going to be a great Sunday. In the meantime, I will see you guys next week. Right. Hey, oh. surf's ready. Oh, surf's oh, ready. Surf and turf. I'm going to hold that. It's a little bit hot, so I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to put this down right here. So you, you got all those all beautiful it. shrimp, and then we just reduce this sauce mm. down. So we're just going to drizzle that all over the top. Oh and Daniel, what was in this sauce? So yeah. this sauce is Jack Daniels, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of Tina's special spice. Oh, you, you used that. I did. That's why you stole it off my table. I did. I'm going to steal it and bring it home. I'm going to use that on my wings. Wait, let me do uh -oh. this. Mm. Mm. Right? That's oh not bad. My gosh. That's not bad. So we're Where's ready to dig kick? in. It does have a little bit of a mm. kick. Well, better. We've Surf got and turf? Mm -hmm. We got yep. Dr. Doom sauce over here too, so we're ready mm. to turn it up. We are ready. At my table, we say good food, good meat, let's eat. Amen. <laughs> Absolutely. I are we allowed what? to eat? Yeah, let's I go, let's, let's dig in. Let's do this. All right. Mm. Mm. My God. That's good. That sauce got a kick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? Mm -hmm. My husband eats this part. Really? I swear. You're not swear. supposed to eat that part. Man. I don't know. It must be Yankee thing. Mm. I don't know. It's a Yankee mm. thing. Yeah. So you just got to keep drizzling that mm -hmm. the whole time. And that, that drizzle mm. helps that smoke stick to the shrimp a little bit. The peppers on the, the bottom. The peppers down on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. With all that sauce, it's good stuff. Oh, my goodness. I'm going right. to steal one of these now, too. It doesn't get any better than this. It doesn't. Mm. Dr. Doom, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank it was you. a pleasure. Tina, always marvelous cooking with you. And Daniel, great job on these shrimp. I love it. Sauce. All right. To the sauce. Cheers. 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 Now, uh, let's watch the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>